the magic and mythology of your freezer. Hello and welcome to the second video of my Modern Witches tour series. Today we'll be looking at your freezer. While the modern freezer isn't something your ancient ancestors had, they still knew the magical importance of ice and snow. For example, ice appears in two different forms in the Norse runes. It is Isa or ice representing standstill, constraint, stasis and the raw power of nature, and Hagalaz or hail representing chaos, destruction and change. In Norse legend, ice was both a creative and destructive force. In their creation story, the world of ice collided with the world of fire, which created the cosmos. Think matter and antimatter of the Big Bang. And then the ice will consume the world at Ragnarok. Mythology. Your freezer comes under the remit of the winter deities, those who bring the ice and snow. And you may like to ask any that you work with to bless and watch over your freezer magic and help keep your freezer running smoothly. After all, a little magical protection never hurts when it comes to electrical appliances. Skadi and Ulla were the winter goddess and god respectively of the Norse. They were both associated with snow-covered mountains, skis, snowshoes and hunting. In a modern sense, the food in your freezer is still food that you've gone hunting for. It's just that you probably hunt around the supermarket rather than in the wilderness. We still use the phrase, hunting for bargains. The Scottish goddess of winter is the Kaliak, who blasts life from the earth and brings in the snow and ice with her blackthorn rod. Her other names include the Hag of Winter and Vera, Queen of Winter. It's interesting to note that the Kaliak is often credited with creating geological formations like valleys and moraines, which are caused by icy glaciers. Frau Holler or Holder is the Germanic goddess of winter, spinning, magic and a protector of children. She is said to create snow when she shakes out her bedding each morning. However, beware, for while Holder will gladly best the industrious, she will also punish the lazy. So if you call on Holder, be sure to keep your freezer clean, full and in good working order. The Magic Today, the modern witch uses their freezer for both magical and practical purposes. Your freezer is a practical storage space for various foods, which all have their own magical and medicinal properties. Even a frozen pizza has its own magic. It probably has some very powerful herbs on it. Cheese is a fairy food. And as for tomatoes, well, they've long been associated with love magic. Herbs, fruits and veggies are only fresh for a short time, so if we want to benefit from them and work with them year round, our freezer is a great help. Many fruits and vegetables can be frozen for use later for food or magical workings. Strawberries are great for love and beauty spells. Blackberries are used for protection and healing. Carrots are used in healing and love spells. Or peas are often used in money spells. While some herbs dry very well and can be stored in your pantry, others do not. Many herbs like sage can be frozen. In fact, some like chives are actually better frozen than dried because they essentially turn to tasteless, nutritionless straw when dried. This way can we can pull out our herbs from the freezer as needed throughout the year. Herbs can be stored as leaves in bags or placed into ice cubes. As well as food, you can place fallen snow and even hailstones from outside inside your freezer to preserve them for magical workings at a later date. Snow can be used in spells for peace and quiet, solitude, purification, beauty and patience, while hail can be used for spells of change, transfer motion and generally to shake things up. The freezer can be used in your spell working to literally freeze something, to slow something down and put it on hold so you can deal with it later. Also be careful what you freeze, as the water that accumulates during defrosting, as well as the low temperatures, can totally wreck things. Often the best things to use are plant matter that represent what you're trying to freeze, and sigils, words or images on good old fashioned paper. So, here are some examples of ways to use your freezer in magic. If for any reason you need to essentially freeze time, say you've got a lot to get done in a short space of time, or you just need some time out for yourself. You need to delay or defer something until you're ready to tackle it, say a decision or action, and you can put it in or on ice. You need to slow down a relationship. Here you can choose by how much, by either using the fridge to cool it off a bit, or the freezer to really put the brakes on. You need to physically cool things down, say you've got a fever, inflammation or other kind of hot ailment. Put something that symbolises you or the relevant body part in the freezer to cool, as well as doing all the medical stuff you need to do, obviously. You need to metaphorically cool things down, say, a heated situation or you find yourself getting angry over something. Spells for self-defence. You know, if a person or situation is annoying you or creating problems for you, freeze them out. If someone's gossiping about you, you can freeze their words so they'll have no effect. To preserve, preserve something, say, to stop an illness becoming any worse or to slow down the ageing process. I have a witch and actor friend who claims that she has preserved her beauty and slowed down the ageing process by freezing rose petals that she's rubbed on her skin. Spells for self-control. For example, if you need to cease a behaviour slowly, say, giving up smoking, you can put your cigarettes in the freezer until you can get yourself past the craving stage with the help of any patches or gum, and then dispose of them symbolically. 
Be careful when putting anything money magic related into your freezer. You really want your money and those figures in your bank account to grow like a plant in spring or summer rather than freezing or worse still, dying back in winter. That said, what you can do is freeze those things such as habits or behaviours that are causing you to spend money. A second way to freeze money, especially good when you suddenly find it flowing massively away from you, say you get a load of things go wrong in the house in a really short space of time, is to place a money herb, like a few leaves of mint, into an ice cube tray, add water and freeze it. Your freezer can also be used for slow release magic. You can freeze intentions into ice cubes and as they melt they will slowly be released. When defrosting your freezer, you can use any ice you find to perform divination. If you find a piece with interesting patterning, you can read the patterns just as you would read tea leaves. Another simpler form is to formulate a yes-no question in your mind. Take a chunk of ice and drop it into the sink. Count the number of bigger pieces it breaks into. If it doesn't break, then there's no answer for you right now. If it smashes to smithereens, it's telling you you already know the answer. If it breaks into an odd number of pieces, then the answer is yes. If it ends up in an even number of pieces, then the answer is no. I hope this video has inspired you to look at your freezer in a whole new way. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.